Worth it coming in from Fifth Harmony as well as Kidding playing for you right here on 88.2 San FM. It's your number one request show, the hit selector. I am Crystal and I'd like to welcome my guest on Celeb Select today. Aww. Now, she is a former Miss Uganda. Oh. She is an actress. Yes. She went into the Big Brother Africa house. Stella, hi, Christa. Stella Nantumbwe. I'm good, my dear. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh huh. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have this you. It's a awesome. pleasure. Okay. <laughs> so now, uh, everyone is calling you Ella. Yes. Please explain. Just start there. How we went from Stella. Yes, we know to Stella. Ella. To Ella. Um, my friends in school used to call me Ella, but um, when you're going to the Big Brother house, they ask you if you want to use an alias. Mm -hmm. So I thought. Let me use Ella. And Ella is also my alter ego. So in the house, I was truly Ella. Stella is very shy, very calm, very collected. Ella is the crazy one that does all the partying that you see. So <laughs> for now, I'm just that girl. I was yeah. actually going for that. I had a <laughs> feeling there was an alter ego in there. There is. There is a few. Okay. A few of them. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just start um, right at the beginning. Yeah. Where you were born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was born here. I was born in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And my lovely mother, Angela. That's her name. She's an angel. Um, I have 12 siblings. Yeah. How? Um, the, yeah. How I was that know. growing up? I think I should ask my dad how he did it, but I won't. Um, it was kind of cool. It's still really nice. That means you do a lot of weddings, a lot of birthdays, a lot of fights, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of everything. But okay. Yeah, you were good. twelve. Si you have yeah. twelve siblings. 12, so yeah. you are number. Uh, I am where? the last girl, so I'm eleven. Number eleven. Yeah. Okay. Then 12 is a boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm guessing, like, even in terms of, like, nieces and nephews, you have some pretty grown ones. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, where did you go to school? I studied at, uh, well, my nursery school was in Nakasara Nursery. I don't know if anybody remembers that school. Mm -hmm. I don't think it still exists. Uh, then I went to Buganda Road Primary School for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Kavoja Junior School until P7. Mm -hmm. That's P4 to P7. Okay. And then I did... Kaboja International until S4, and I did my A-levels at Vienna College, Namukongo. Oh. And then my university was in England, University of Greenwich. Okay, what yeah. did you do at university? I studied business computing. Business yeah. computing. Imagine, I think that was such a wasted degree, but I don't know. <laughs> wasted. You haven't used it at all? A little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, project do you see yourself? management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but apart from that, no. Okay. So when did you know that you wanted to actually get into entertainment? Was that like were in school? Were yeah. you that child who was always acting, always on yes. stage? I was always in every single MDD. I didn't <laughs> care if I was the boy or the girl. I had to lead a folk song, clap, put on a beard. I didn't care. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that's fun. Then, okay. of course, school got a bit serious. I let that go. Mm. But coming back here after my university, I was like, you know what? You haven't done Miss Uganda, just do it. I was like, cool. And I did that. I like the way you say that. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you know, Miss Uganda. <laughs> yeah, let's just do let's it. Let's just do it. You know, and my mom was so worried. I remember her telling me I'm not going to win. She, not that she doesn't believe in me. <laughs> she but she was that. so, she was so, so worried. She's like, um, these girls, I've seen them. They are so luscious i don't think you'll fit <laughs> that's what she said was something like along those lines and on wow. the finale she spent the whole finale in the bathroom going back and forth worried that her daughter's heart was going to be broken but yay here we are <laughs> okay so how is miss uganda for you because um you're one of those people yeah basically we got to know you mm -hmm. because of miss uganda and since then it's just like one thing after, after another it's yeah. just been this amazing growth yeah so what do you credit like miss uganda definitely as a launch pad? it launched me into the uganda entertainment scene and I think it's one of the best things that has happened to me it was such a great opportunity mm. i got to follow my heart and actually do good for people mm -hmm. yes we didn't win miss world guys let's get over it <laughs> again <laughs> um but <laughs> it was fun it was something that changed me i don't think i would be the same person because part of my personality comes from the pageant mm -hmm. a bit it really taught me a lot what exactly um 
I'm quite poised, but also taught how to be yourself. I think it's the most important thing. I mm. never truly embraced myself until that moment when you're okay to put yourself out there and let people judge you. Mm. And mm-hmm. they tell you you're either good enough or you're not. I think that's the moment you find, you know, who you really are. Okay. Are you strong enough or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was great. Okay. And then towards the end of your reign, you yeah. decided to do something that was not expected. <laughs> but I was missing Uganda guy. for such a long time. <laughs> I had to go do something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, but like you said, I mean, Miss Uganda, it's very poised. Yeah. And and, uh, and then we're talking Big Brother where yes. we've seen some of the juicier scandals oh, in Africa. Lord. I mean, things that up to now still <laughs> pop up in the tabloids. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, okay. I, had, I feel like I had to do that. I really feel like I just had to do it. I, there was no two ways about it. The the publicity, the level that it puts you on is different. You're now not just a Ugandan. You're basically an African. Everybody's watching you. Mm-hmm. get to be watched by 50 million people. Mm-hmm. I mean, one of them must think you're amazing, right? So job <laughs> opportunities <laughs> come in. Ambassador opportunities come in. Now you're a big deal. You can up your money when you're working. You know, you have mm-hmm. a following. That's the way the world works now. And you have to be smart. Do I regret Big Brother? Never. Guys, I don't regret anything I did. Maybe okay. regret some of the things other people did because I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get back to that in just a bit. Right now, I'll yeah. ask you for your first request. My first song is Preemie by Burner Boy. Mm-hmm. I think that is my anthem. Okay. The lyrics really touch my heart. So that's the first one. Okay. I hope people like it. Here it is, Burn a Boy, Preemie. Lately I've been on my toes. Enemies been on a mission. Now you were talking about Big Brother. Yes. And you said it's something that you would not regret. Yes. Tell me something. I think, and this is a question <laughs> that people are always so curious. Yeah. Do you remember the cameras when you're in the house or do you forget? Uh, you stop caring. You stop but usually, caring. yeah, usually How the cameras... How long does that take? Like, the first week you're so cautious and mm-hmm. you're trying to be impressive and you're trying to be in front of every camera and you're trying not to do the wrong thing. And mm-hmm. you can sometimes hear them move a little like... Mm. <laughs> so it's it's quite scary but mm-hmm. at first you want people to like you and you want to stay at least past the first week so people then are not natural mm-hmm. so they're very conscious and they know everything that's going on after that you just don't care because sometimes you know you just go grab a drink and you forget where you are mm-hmm. and that people are watching you and you do some things that are like ah cringe worthy but I think the whole <sighs> Friday night you know, yeah, plan party. Is always the party, the drinks. It's so strategic. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> and usually there's a lot of drama that happens after. Mm-hmm. I remember a few times I had to carry some people to bed, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of scandals in that moment, but you only get those if you have the full channel. Mm hmm. Yeah. We know. Um, <laughs> that thing called shower hour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you said you don't regret anything yeah. at all, I'm, I'm I regret sure. Shower hour. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the one thing. Like, do you regret that? Or okay. you're like, no. Here's my extremely weird answer to mm-hmm. that. Um, I don't regret shower hour. I think it gave me so much freedom. <laughs> <laughs> so more, it empowered you. It did. Um, I came home thinking. My derriere is already everywhere, so <laughs> nobody can now call me and threaten me with some nudes that I don't have, by the way. Mm-hmm. Don't try looking. Um, nobody can call me and tell me things are going to happen in the papers. I'm like, whatever. They've seen it all. What What, what are you going to show us now? at it, yeah? Yeah, so I'm free. I mean, that's done. Let's do something else, <laughs> you know? Well, you <laughs> mentioned the 12 siblings. Yes. And your parents, how did they take it, though? Um... My dad mm-hmm. was, uh, eh. he was like, oh, okay. My mom, however, was like, yeah, go on. And I actually did ask her about shower hours. She was like, how do you shower at home? <laughs> I'm like, thank you. 
We're done here, mom. Good point. You're the best. Well, that's the support you need. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, you mentioned that going into Big Brother, yes. you were looking at the opportunities yes. that would come your way. Mm-hmm. It would propel you to, you know, a continental platform. Yes. Um, w- as soon as Big Brother ended yeah. and you came out of the house, was that like a weird adjustment? Was it it's strange at that point or it was smooth sailing? It's actually one of the hardest things ever. Mm-hmm. Um, the Big Brother house will grow on you. You'll, it will become your reality. You'll actually want to stay there rather than get out and live with people. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. It does mess up your psychology, your Mm -hmm. mind a bit. Mm -hmm. It messes with you a bit. But um, when I got out, I thought, whew, what now? There's a lot of expectations. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people thinking, now you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Job offers are coming. I feel like personally I made some bad decisions in that area but i don't regret them they were not the right decisions but Mm -hmm. everything takes you where you're meant to be so it's a learning curve as well it's a learning curve yeah but um when you do get out of there it's it's a lot of people bombarding you with everything Mm. i had movie directors from nigeria calling me and thinking you know come and let's do this and i'm like "Mm, maybe not okay not yet niger not yet (laughs) but soon soon yeah okay and of course idris (laughs) <laughs> Idris um, like the sweetheart couple he is horrible he's not a bad person I'm joking he's great guys we all love him he's great um, he's fine I think mm-hmm. he's fine we don't speak that much anymore but did it was you a sweet actually thing. date after you came out of the house no. okay no no we did not and um, did you actually say we, uh, that you just would have liked bit. to marry him just no, to clarify no I said I wanted to get married and then this lady wrote all this other Ah. stuff i was like where did you get that she asked me would you like to get married i said yes one day i would like to get married and she went and twisted it and made a oh you like whole to get married to thing him? yeah okay. so i was like okay that's what people do to sell papers okay yeah. so basically you guys just went your yeah, separate ways but, um, after. not immediately like a bit the first few weeks but then i'm seeing things on social media of course and i'm mm-hmm. wondering what's going on here um, so I decided to just cut myself out because I started to feel like I'd given him enough mileage with my name. I was done at that point. I had to pack my bags and leave mm-hmm. because if I had not, I think I would have mm. drained myself even okay. more. Yeah. But also going into the house, you yeah. were seeing someone. Yes. <laughs> Because I've always thought, you know, Zoomy that's one guys, of the... No, no, no. I I'm mean, joking. I think that's one of the most challenging things if you're yes. in a relationship going into the house. Yeah. Uh, where do you go with that? Um, when I was in the house, I didn't... You know, I'd think about the person back home. Mm. But like I said, Big Brother does become your reality. Mm-hmm. You start to think there's nothing more than this, just mm-hmm. a little bit. You forget. You actually forget some things and some people. And... It didn't, it's not that I forgot. I just... It was a thing in the moment. It was like, oh, let's see where this goes. Because mm-hmm. it was all butterflies and rainbows and sunshine <laughs> and ice cream and cupcakes. Mm-hmm. Just until it wasn't. So you learn the hard way sometimes that, yeah, you know, you make bad decisions. Okay. You know. All right. Well, we're all human. Hey. Yes. All but I don't regret it still, guys. I don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a big part I'm of your joking. life. It is. Um, okay, so yeah. I'm going to ask you for your next uh, song My right next now. My next song mm-hmm. is... By Simi? Yes. Simi? <laughs> Simi. Um, love Don't Care, right? Right, mm-hmm. that's the one. Love, yes. don't, love don't Care. care. And Truly Love Did Not Care. Uh, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Love Don't Care. Just the other day, she said, hello, hello, I'm talking to you, baby. Somebody call me, he can't tell me, say yeah. Happy New Year! It's Ooh. not too late to say Happy New Year. <laughs> I came no. up with, yes. One week later, you're still good, you're still yeah, good. Yeah, it's just yeah. a week, it's just, just seven days just in, seven right? seven days, I mm-hmm. can't believe we did this. We made it. <laughs> I'm chatting with Ella right now. That's Stella Nantumwe. Yes. And uh, she's just been, you know, sharing her journey going into the Big Brother house. The weird house. Um, I mean, 
whoever watches Big Brother is always so curious about what it's like on the inside. Yeah. But then after that, I mean, so many other things started happening. Yes. Okay, so what were your steps after the Big Brother house? Because opportunities came your way, some yeah. you turned down. What did you eventually decide to do? Um, I decided that I'm not made for a desk job. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's a, an executive decision. I decided to take everything that I love a bit further. I even wanted to do music. But guys, that's on hold for a long time. Just Why? give me some time. I don't know. I just don't have the time. And I need to be really emotional. Like, I think I need a heartbreak or something to write a great song. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a bunch of them. And then when I looked at them, I was like, why am I doing this? It's horrible. Mm -hmm. um, it was really sad music. I was worse than Adele, I think. Yeah, it was horrible. But um <laughs> yeah, I decided to <laughs> I decided to act and take my acting further. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get better at everything I wanted to do. So that involved vocal training. I did a bit of T V. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do radio. Mm -hmm. No, Crystal, I don't want to take your job. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> but one day room, there's room. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Mm -hmm. Um I decided to do everything I love and that's basically the whole nine yards. But now I realize I maybe don't exactly like TV too much. So that's going to be cut off my list. But the rest Why? of the things I'll keep trying. Why? I remember not enjoying it. Okay. I wasn't having fun. Mm. And that's important. Mm. If you do it and you feel tired after you're doing it. And you feel emotionally exhausted. Then you're not in the right place. That's really not for you. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think. But I felt that way. It would be really exhausting and I was so nervous and I was so shy and I thought am I doing it right mm -hmm. but when I do other things like when I act I don't second guess myself mm -hmm. I just do what comes it just comes naturally and I'm happy I'm not tired I'm enjoying it mm -hmm. I want it to go on Okay. So, yeah. Now, when you mentioned acting, you actually yeah. did some theater as yes. well. Yes. I think that's <laughs> kind of the first time when people are like oh okay <laughs> how, how's that? I was so nervous I was so nervous. Was it like your that. But you you did a lot of stage yes. in school. Yes, and also in the Big Brother house. Our whole mm -hmm. season was based on that. Every weekend we had to put in a play. Yes. But that's easy when there's only a bunch of cameras watching you. Mm -hmm. This is different. You have to fill up an auditorium. Will people watch? Will they judge? Will they say you were worthy? Or it was hard. Mm -hmm. But what was um the response. Learning my lines. Well, they liked it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I don't read reviews. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know, guys. Tell me if you liked it. But yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun. They All right. said they liked it. Some people that are close to me, so that doesn't count. Yeah. They'll always mm -hmm. be nice. <laughs> yeah. But that's why we need them. We need you, <laughs> our need people, to be nice. <laughs> please be nice. Yeah, we need that. Okay, so when you did that, mm -hmm. did you feel like, yes, okay, acting is my thing. It's what I want to do. Not yet. I actually hadn't yet felt like this is it. I thought this is fun. Let's just do this for now. I don't know where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. And maybe something will come out of it. And something did. I think my director spotted me at that play. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's always so good. That was awesome. I thought, mm -hmm. hey, the universe has aligned. <laughs> So now, fell. I mean, now you're in this massive uh, telenovela. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you watch Crystal? You I watched watch? the first two episodes, actually. Okay. Now I there's did. a lot of drama, but it will get even better when Salvador enters the house. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you guys when, but some of you know. Uh, but this is actually different. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to Hollywood. <laughs> That's the next step. Yeah, but wait, first I have to go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. and then I'll go to Hollywood. But when I say things like this, people think I'm crazy, and then they happen. No, I'm going to beat Lupita. Being crazy. You're supposed to say what you want to do. Yes, okay. I'm not going to beat Lupita. I'm going to get two, two Oscars at the same time. <laughs> Just go there. <laughs> do it for Uganda, and then I'll go down in the books as one of the baddest actresses ever. So I'm trying to grow. Mm -hmm. I think I enjoy it, but I'm trying to grow. I want to be superb at this i want to be the best that there can be i want to mm -hmm. take roles that challenge me this was quite easy because sometimes i identify with that woman and that's why i think it's easy oh, being isabel what yeah. parts of isabel do you identify with uh, uh, okay, so you, you 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 put What's it out like? there yes you put um, it out there no like love the the way she loves she loves with a fire and mm -hmm. that's that's one thing. 
Naturally, a lot of people say I'm mean, but I'm not. So that's also easy. Um, <laughs> occasionally, I'm a bully. So that's also easy. Mm. Um, then the good parts. I cherish my family. You know, I understand why she should do what she wants, what she does. And then there's, of course, the factor of always wanting to be better. Mm-hmm. When you've come from so far and people thought you'd never be anything and then here you are now and you're making it she is that woman she made it somehow though she died but hey did you have some people in your life yeah who made you feel like you were not going to make it oh uh, you always have those people there's always people like that like relatives it, or um, friends or my family what we call it haters <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had a few of those <laughs> like why are you doing this do something else Mm-hmm. Occasionally, my mother switches back and forth to, you should be in an office, Stella, <laughs> using that degree. I'm like, uh, no, mom, not now. But <laughs> she's not a hater. She just, sometimes she's she thinks. Job. She's doing her <laughs> job. Yeah, but um, I had a few of those. I mean, coming out of Big Brother, mm. I think I was just slapped in the face with so much negativity. Um, the social media was a nightmare, basically. Mm. And I think it just made me stronger. Now I don't really take hate that much i just take i'm like oh you, you're not happy with something i'm doing cool that's you i just jump over it but those people that did that to me actually made me want to do things whenever mm. people tell me you can't or you're not good enough i push myself because i need to prove them wrong mm. and then when i'm there i'm like deuces bye okay <laughs> all righty so now i'm gonna ask you for your My next song third song okay my third song is by a nigerian artist called adekunle gold mm-hmm. i think it's amazing um and i hope you guys like the song shade you're telling us about second chance yes when you were approached yes were you like yes straight away or you're like uh tell me more i was like uh let's see tell me more because <laughs> <laughs> of course uh i understood exactly immediately what ugandans were going to do to us immediately mm. i just saw it coming but and also being kind given of the first of its kind, yeah being yeah? given rights by telemundo to remake one of the most amazing series is not a joke mm-hmm. i mean it's amazing it's something you can't just turn down it was one of those opportunities i had another opportunity i could have taken but i had to weigh both and uh i took this one i would have loved to have both but sometimes things don't work out that way Mm -hmm. um but i think i made a good choice i think i did and i think it also takes a lot of time the filming how many episodes have you put in (laughs) right now do you even know um we're not even halfway in is what i can say we're not even close we mm-hmm. have 140 something episodes wow. to go so it's gonna be on your tv stations for a long time mm-hmm. uh i don't know i hope people it grows into people like i hope people can't live without it even more because we have a great fan base the people have been great mm-hmm. first it was a lot of bashing we took that then First they hate you, then they love you. So now we're enjoying the love. Now you're enjoying the yeah. love. Okay. <laughs> um, in terms of working with other members, cast members, yeah, has it been easy? <laughs> because you know, I was, there's always that thing of like you gotta find the chemistry <laughs> as well. In some cases, has it been easy? No, I I can't lie and say it was a breeze. Um, mm. my director's great, the crew's great, the cast members are great, but um, sometimes when you're a new actress because I wouldn't say I'm seasoned Mm -hmm. so um, it's it's a lot you really have to get into situations you really have to dig deep sometimes you have to be in compromising situations (laughs) if you know what I mean and (laughs) you have to think about that and my mother's watching and Mm -hmm. everybody's watching and that makes you wonder but uh, there's issues that sometimes you worry about hygiene you worry about (laughs) I know. Well, that's I'm like you have to think about it. You have to think about mm. hygiene. You have to think about. Um, that's a good point. I mean, before a kissing scene, like, yeah. do you first brush your teeth? Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, have a <laughs> kit ready. <laughs> a lot has to happen. You know, because uh, it's, it's it's supposed to be this very passionate series, so we can't take the passion out of it. Yes, that would kill it. Mm-hmm. We just have to do it. But I don't. I don't have any issue doing those scenes. 
um, usually it's with my partner. I just have to get really comfortable with you before. Mm -hmm. But soon I will be introduced to another person. I mean, which woman gets around like that? It's a lot of men for one little me. <laughs> so... <laughs> I had Fajil and I have Kim. It's, it's crazy. Now I'll have Salvador. Mm -hmm. Then there's also, you think about like their families and their daughters are watching. And ah, it's like, oh God. But you just have to put on your big girl panties <laughs> and do it. <laughs> it comes with a job. Yes, it comes with, comes the, with territory, the territory, right? I mean, we want to be in Hollywood, so we need to push ourselves at okay. some point. All right. Well, that's a very positive attitude. Thank now, you. you mentioned like just on the show, you're dealing yeah. with a lot of men and yeah. then you're like, According to the tabloids, yeah, you have had a very busy dating you life. You know, like I've been married, I've been everything. I've dated people. I'm like, do I know this guy? I'm like, <laughs> no. I just read the papers. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that's my new boyfriend. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll go with that for a while. And I, I seem to like it that way. I think the more people try to speculate, the more they can't find the truth. So, I enjoy it when nobody actually knows what's going on. I like to keep mystery. I guess that's another Isabella quality. But I so have. I'm guessing you are dating. <laughs> yes, yes, Crystal. Things like that have are to you happen. Not someone think. serious. I cannot say this on Why radio. Not? I refuse to give you this goss. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> huh? Because if I say yes, then a lot of people are going to run into my DMs and go what? <laughs> <laughs> so I refuse to answer that. But there is somebody special. Yeah, you see now. Yeah, but he's not like that. I don't know how to say that. someone <laughs> and it's serious and because special. she said he's special. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, but happy for you then. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes don't know if I'm happy for me. <laughs> but hey, time is running out. I need to have babies soon. So hey, is he supportive though? Yes. Um, well, you, Krista, you're so good at this. You just, no. you know. Um, I mean, because you have big dreams. Uh, you need someone who's supportive. It's a problem. That's a problem, being honest. Um, finding somebody who will accept my lifestyle. Mm. It's not easy to date somebody who's probably going to be kissing somebody else on television every now and then. Mm. Having all these steamy situations. You have to be very confident within yourself as a man to date a woman like me. Mm -hmm. I'd say you really have to know your stuff. You really have to be secure. You really have to trust and you really just have to have your feet planted and just be ready for the ride. Because I always come up with crazy ideas and I expect people to go with them. Mm -hmm. If I want to do something, I want to do it. You're not going to tell me two ways about it. I'll do it. So I need somebody that's like that, supportive to the core, but okay. still not judgmental. Mm. Yeah. And that's sometimes a bit hard to find. But I think I'm close. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm close. Okay, so on this journey of yours, this mm -hmm. woo, this roller coaster ride these past few years. Yes. Um, what have you learned about yourself? Oh. I never knew I could be as strong as I was when I needed to be strong. Mm -hmm. It hasn't exactly been easy. Um, people underestimate what it is to wake up and have your face blasted across a newspaper for something you haven't done or dating somebody you haven't or Mm -hmm. making up stories about you or sometimes you have to work and your personal life's not correct you know nothing's fixed mm. but you still have to keep a straight face I mm. mean uh, being a beauty queen one you have to smile all the time and sometimes you're just angry you know <laughs> you just want to punch people but you have to keep your teeth out there and just I love you guys <laughs> but inside you're drowning um it has been hard, but I've learned that I'm really strong and that's beautiful. It's taught me a lot about friendship, mm -hmm. you know. I've lost a lot of friends, gained a lot mm -hmm. as well. But I think every turn I take, God shows me who's meant to be in my life and who's not. So that's mm -hmm. perfect. That's what I need. So my friendships are still tighter. I have a very small circle. It's like three people. Mm -hmm. Really. <laughs> Tr uh, one, two, yeah, three. so if things get out, I'm like, you, you or you. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Um, I have a very small circle uh, and I like to keep it that way. Mm. I think that's the only way you make it in this industry. You can't not be everybody's tight friend. Yeah. Um, so that helps. I've learned, I've learned to just follow my heart because it's never led me astray. I think everything has fallen in place. The puzzle is being completed mm. every day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, pleasure having you. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much for coming on awesome. Celeb Select. Say I hi love to this say show. hi to the boo. <laughs>
Is it I will. Bae? Hi, Boo Bay, <laughs> Bay Boo, or whatever we want to call you today. <laughs> so I'll ask you for your your last song, which yeah. is one that is very special to you. Yes, um, mm. it's called Barrio by Sinabuse. It's beautiful and. I think it speaks to me. I seem to remember driving home to Entebbe and I just played on loud and cry. <laughs> <laughs> My life. <laughs> yeah, but then after that, you feel so much better, guys. Crying is good for you. Um, yeah, that's I why it's I special. I totally to me. agree. <laughs> Don't start crying. Even when I start crying at animations and with <laughs> still <laughs> cleansing. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Don't take me at animations. <laughs> well, again, thank you so thank much, you my so dear, much. for coming through. Pleasure having you, my You're first guest in 2017. Welcome. Yes, this Yay. is an honor. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be watching you. Thank you. And supporting you. Thank all you the way. so much. We uh, love the support. Thank you so much, Crystal. Amazing show, guys. I hope you loved having me here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So song. here it is. If you want to cry right now, feel free. Um, Ella might start right now. <laughs> here it is, Burial. Try smiling for them to see that I'm happy you're free. Hey, speak to me. 